Well, hello there folks, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you again and as usual, a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. Or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. I'm just going to be showing you a very easy chicken pie. This is a lovely creamy chicken pie and I'm going to be using puff pastry because I think that just goes so well with the creamy chicken and mushroom filling. Now you could add all sorts of things to this. You could add peas or any veg you want really but I'm going to keep it really simple and just use chicken breast and some mushrooms but again you can use whatever mushrooms you like and I will leave all of these ingredients along with their weights in the description box down below. So I'll have grams and cups and ounces obviously to suit whatever you are in the world. So I hope you all had a brilliant day so far and thank you ever so much for joining me for this wee recipe and for coming back. But like I said, if you are new, why not consider subscribing just before you go and click that wee notification bell and you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So like I said, delicious this one, perfect for this time of year, so so comforting, very warming and like I said, dead easy. And I'm going to be doing a wee lattice on the top and I'll show you how I do that and it's not as difficult as you think it's actually again very very easy so this is what I've got for you if you want to give it a go for yourself the first thing I've got there is a heaped teaspoon of Coleman's mustard but you can use whatever mustard you want I've got one egg yolk 200 ml of double cream but you can use creme fraiche if you prefer 300 ml of chicken stock you can use fresh if you've got it or just use a cube you know if you don't have any 150 grams of white mushrooms but again use whatever mushrooms you want i've got two chicken breasts one ready rolled uh, shop bought puff pastry it's about 370 grams one tablespoon of plain or all-purpose flour one teaspoon of thyme and one teaspoon of nutmeg. You can use fresh if you've got it. I'm just using dried. Two knobs of butter and you'll also need some salt and pepper and a wee bit of oil just as you go along. So let's move on and see what's next. So this is the chicken stock that I'm using. Sometimes I've got my own stock but I haven't got any just now so I bought this one. This is a fresh chicken stock but like I said use cubes if you want. And this is the mustard that I'm using. It's lovely and strong. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your cooker and get a pan with some boiling water up to a simmer. Once it's simmering, you can pop in some salt and pepper. I'm just going to poach my chicken. You can just fry this, you know, but I much prefer the flavour and texture of poached chicken, especially in a pie. You know, I like to fry chicken in a stir fry as it is, but if it's in a pie, I like it a bit softer. So I'm going to simmer this for about 15 minutes and then cut it into pieces. So this is the tin that I'm using. These are just disposable aluminium tins and these are only about £2.99 and you get loads of them and they're really handy or you can get the smaller ones like these and I use these for sending pies round to Mr Watts for Tea's mother. You know, she loves these kind of things. So handy and those are from Lakeland. So the first thing you want to do is roll out your pastry. Now I'm just going to use my tip, the top of my tin as a stencil and go round with my knife and you just want to cut slightly bigger than your tin, just so that it comes up the sides. Easy. And just peel back the excess pastry and I'm going to use the other half of my pastry sheet and I'm going to cut this into strips and make a lattice on the top. You just want to press your pastry into your tin. Make sure you get it into all the nooks and crannies and nice and flat with no air bubbles. Now that's the joy of ready-made pastry. You know, it cuts out half of the time. So you just want to refrigerate your strips and your pastry case. I just cut the other half of my pastry into 10 strips. So pop them into the fridge just now until you do your sauce. So the first thing you want to do is cut up your mushrooms. Now I want mine fairly thin because I want them basically disappearing into the sauce. But you can of course do yours a bit chunkier if you prefer or even dice them. This is just the way I prefer mushrooms in my chicken pies. So once you're finished, get over to your cooker again 
and in a frying pan you want to melt a good knob of butter. Once it's melted, pop in your mushrooms. You just want to fry these until they're nice and soft. And once they're just about cooked, you can pop in your cooked chicken. Like I said, I just cut this up and your other knob of butter can be added. Just give everything a good stir round and a good coating just to warm through your chicken, really. And I'm going to add another wee bit of salt and pepper, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And then I'm going to add my nutmeg and thyme. And give it a wee stir around. And then I'm going to pop in my flour. This is going to thicken up your gravy. And then my mustard. Another wee stir around. And then I'm going to add my chicken stock. Just give it a wee stir. And then I'm going to pop in my cream. And that's it done. All you've got to do now is let this simmer away until you're happy with the thickness and consistency. The longer you let this bubble away, the thicker it's going to get. I gave mine about 15 minutes. You don't want it too dry, but you don't want it too wet either. So this was ideal for me. Still a good amount of liquid in there and it's lovely and thick. So I'm just going to cover this and let it cool for a while. You don't want to get into your pie case piping hot. Let it cool for a wee while. So like, as you can see there, you know, it's still warm, but it's not as warm as it was. So fill up your pastry case and I'm just going to get my strips. And I'm going to wet the edge of my pastry just with some water to help the pastry strips stick down. So you want five going up and down the way or vertically, <laughs> just press them in to your pastry. Just, you know, just make sure they're sticking down. Lift your second and your third up and pop another strip down and then your first, your third and your last and pop another strip down. This is so easy, but it looks as though you've put an awful lot of work into it when you actually haven't. Put them back down again. And then again, lift up your second and your fourth strips. Put another strip of pastry down, flap them down and just keep repeating that. You know, like I said, it's so simple, but it looks a lot more difficult than it is. But it, it looks so pretty when it's actually made. Easy peasy. Just make sure you're pressing it down, you know, into that rim so that it doesn't lift when it's baking. And I just like to grab my scissors and cut off any excess. And if there's any notes sort, of, sort of stuck down, just give it a wee press down with your finger. But those two edges should be stuck down with the water. But if not, just give it a wee press down. And doesn't that look nice? <laughs> you know, the further away from each other you do your strips, the bigger holes you get. If you don't want such big holes, just move your pastry strips closer together but you will need more then obviously. The last thing you want to do is uh, glaze the top with either egg white or egg yolk or a combination of both. I like to use egg yolk. I think it's just a lot more, it's a lot richer and it gives you a lovely shiny brown top. So once it's had its cooking time, pull it out of the oven and this was mine's afterwards. I gave this half an hour in the oven and gas mark six. But I actually put tin foil over the top halfway through because it browned really quickly with that egg wash. So you might want to do that halfway through, pop a bit of foil over the top if you think it's getting too brown. And we just had ours with some mashed potato and some buttered and peppered cabbage. And let me tell you, this was absolutely delicious. Comfort food at its finest. So as you can see, you know that you get quite a lot of servings out of there. We get four servings out of this one with a wee bit of mixture left over, which I'm going to make up a wee pie with and stick it into the freezer. So yeah, absolutely delicious. I've already posted a picture of this on my Instagram, so you'll have seen this already if you follow me over there. So hello to you. I know who you are. <laughs> so if you haven't followed me over there yet, why not pop over to Instagram and follow me? I'll leave my Instagram in the description box down below, along with the ingredients and the weights. If you just click on the show more, it'll bring everything up there. So that was it. Very simple, very easy. If very, quite quick, not very quick, quite quick, but absolutely 
delicious and quite inexpensive as well because you'll find you'll have a lot of these ingredients already if you're a you know if you cook quite often you'll have most of the ingredients the only thing i had to buy was the chicken and the pastry i had everything else so yeah absolutely brilliant fantastic midweek meal idea that one and i just love the basket weave top you know it just looks a lot more difficult than it actually is so that's it so thank you very much like i said at the beginning for popping over and checking out this wee video and I shall be back tomorrow with an MRE taste test. Now if you don't know what an MRE is, again pop over to my Instagram and I've explained it there but yeah I'll be back tomorrow to explain more about that. So until I see you next time, mind to take care of yourselves and I shall catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.